Introduction, our most popular reviews of 2016. Every year we drive a bumper crop of the hottest new cars, trucks, and sport utility vehicles. Some are high-powered sports cars. Some are fuel-sipping hybrids. Mix in a minivan or two, and it's quite a roster. With that, we present our 10 most popular car reviews based on page views for 2016. Number 10. 2016 Cadillac CT6 First Drive Cadillac's new flagship sedan generated lots of interest this year. The CT6 was one of the first big cars we drove in January, and it lived up to the hype. Senior editor Greg Migliori called it the start of Cadillac's next chapter and the winner, thanks to its potent range of engines and impressive design. Its luxurious interior and attention-getting technology, like the rear camera mirror, also stood out. Number 9, 2017 Audi S5 First Drive. This swoopy German coupe caught the fancy of reviewer Andrew Gans, who noted its familiar looks were bolstered by substantive updates under the skin. The 2017 S5 features a 354 horsepower V6 teamed with an 8-speed automatic transmission and quadro all-wheel drive, providing an invigorating driving character. The virtual dashboard and pleasing materials make the cabin a sophisticated and luxurious place to spend time. Number 8, 2016 Chevy Camaro 2.0 Quick Spin The four-cylinder Camaro in convertible guise was popular with readers and with reviewer Greg Migliori, who enjoyed its exuberance and character. The 2.0-liter mill with 275 horsepower and 295 pounds to foot of torque was more than capable, living up to its rock star billing. Cracking the top off, which opened for us in about 11 seconds, only added to the excitement. It was a memorable test drive to Death Valley, California. Number 7, 2017 Chevy Corvette Grand Sport First Drive Senior editor Alex Kirstein summed it as absolutely the Corvette you want if you have any intention of visiting a place like Atlanta Motorsports Park on a regular basis. That steady praise, earned by the best track-focused suspension, clever aerodynamics, and 460 horsepower naturally aspirated V8. You'll want the tack on the Z51 package for even more capability. The Grand Sport left an impression on Kirstein and Dotablog's readers with this memorable review. Number 5, 2017 Toyota Prius Prime First Drive. The first hybrid on our list, Autobla Green editor in chief Sebastian Blanco called it the best Prius ever for its combination of range, up to 25 miles on electricity and efficiency. 54 combined MPG and 133 MPG E, according to the EPA. Its looks are divisive, but Blanca liked the risk-taking style. The Prius remains true to its base yet is improved enough to attract new buyers. It's worthy of prime time. Number 4, 2017 Chrysler Pacifica First Drive. The 2017 Pacifica gives Chrysler a competitive offering in the segment many left for dead. It has a dramatic new design, a strong V6 engine, and a modern 9-speed automatic transmission. There are also loads of options like an in-vehicle vacuum cleaner and a wide array of entertainment features. This was the most important launch for Fiat Chrysler this year and it delivered. Number 3, I rode in the Tesla Model 3 tonight. Moments after the Tesla Model 3 was revealed, Autobla Green editor-in-chief Sebastian Blanco got a ride in one of the year's most buzzworthy vehicles. He had just 180 seconds in the car, but our readers lapped it up and devoured his video. We know much more about the Model 3 now, including the details of its long waiting list, but our three-minute ride in a prototype checks in at number 3 on our list of most popular reviews for 16. Number 2, 2016 Tesla Model X P90D First Drive 
Another Tesla in the top three, Blanco secured a drive in the electric crossover from a generous customer. He liked it, but found it lacking in some areas. He compared it to a rare steak not half-baked but not all the way there either. The Gullwing doors are a good example of this. They work in surprisingly tight spaces, Blanco observed, but the cost, weight, and complexity are unnecessary. The Model X is another step for Tesla, but the Model 3 will be a bigger one, Blanco concluded.